After 36 Nigerian soldiers killed, see what Peter will be said that shaked the nation. <laughs> Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. Peter Obi reacts after shocking report of two pilots and two crew members among the 36 troops who lost their lives in the ambush and plane crash in the Niger State. Major General Adod Babu, a spokesperson for the Defense Department, stated on Thursday, August 17, that the 22 soldiers and three officers who were killed also included seven soldiers who were injured in the attack. Legate News reports. Peter will be the flag bearer of the Labour Party, reacted by denouncing the ongoing threat of Nigerian soldiers and urging the government to put their safety first. Peter will be the Labour Party's candidate for president on February 25th, has commented on the August 14 ambush that left 26 Nigerian troops dead by armed gang at Kunudu village in the Shiri local government area of Niger State. Obi expressed his profound sorrow over the terrible tragedy in a statement uploaded on his social media page on Thursday, August 17. And he encouraged the federal government, led by President Bola Tinubu, to take the necessary action as the struggle against insecurity in Nigeria continues. Peter will be said, the report of the death of 36 soldiers who were killed in a terrorist ambush in Niger State is both devastating and depressing. I am very saddened for families whose loved ones have continued to play the patriotic but very painful price in the fight against insecurity in our country. He said, the continued loss of lives of both our military men and other citizens to ceaseless insecurity is very painful. Once again, I commiserate with our military and security agencies whose personnel have continued to pay the supreme price for peace and security in our nation. He added, to the fallen, we pray for internal arrest. To the bereaved families, we pray for succor. To the living active duty personnel, we urge you to remain courageous and resilient in the fight against the forces of evil. Nigerian citizens respond to the the death of 36 Nigerian soldiers who lost their lives in a surprise attack in Niger State. People from Nigeria shared their thoughts on the situation in their social media comment section and expressed their reactions to this event. The first person I have here said, The media reported 22, so they are actually 36 soldiers. This is so sad and demoralizing for their colleagues. So, 36 soldiers were killed and everyone is quiet. I think they are actually more than 36 that were killed. Peter, what are you going to do if you don't get your mandate back? Quite politics, I miss you. These are reactions from Nigerians. The military leaders from 15 nations within the economic community of West African states, ECOWAS, have indicated their willingness. This is another story headline. The military leaders from the 15 nations within the ECOWAS community of West African states, ECOWAS, have indicated their willingness to join the standby force amid at restating democratic governance in Niger Republic. After the military coup led by the Presidential Guard in Niger Republic and the 
hosting of President Mohamed Bazoum, the regional coalition gave the military junta a seven-day deadline to return power or face potential penalties, which could include employing force. I keep on wondering if these military men being moved down on daily basis are the same who terrorized my people with elephants laugh, python dance, and crocodile clapping. Does it mean their display of terror is only heightened when it comes to my helpless people of Southeast? One needs to see the display of brutality being meted to my people whenever there is a mid fraction between the military and the helpless civilians. Does it mean the same people is lacking with the ragtag S-men? <laughs> May they are so rest in peace. They went in defense of this country. Okay? People, we just, okay, I can't really get that. The truth is that eh, the way Nigerian government is actually handling the insecurity in Nigeria, we don't even know where we are going because it seems that they themselves, they have lost focus. You understand? They have lost focus. Maybe they don't even know what to do concerning this. We can't keep on like this. We can't keep on like this. This is really very terrifying. So guys, I'm dropping it here. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section, please. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you.